Hi, Marnie Lynn here of Paper Rock Silver. As you can see, I'm busy working in the studio. I was part way through making uh, two sets of cards and I realized that I was missing the opportunity of being able to make a video so I could watch myself work. So I'm in the creative process, as you can see, as I pull out my book of dies. I'm trying to figure out gift cards. It's a perfect little card. It's a little more than two inches wide by three inches tall. And I like to mass produce when I'm doing something. So to do something, I do it in fours or eights. And it just works out better that way. And to do a set of cards, can take all day long because you're trying to figure out like going through your catalog of all your stamps and dyes and stencils your colors and figuring out something that might sell so right now I'm working on making little mirrors they're not really functional mirrors but it's as you can see a sheet of silver with these frame around it to make it look like a picture frame. I'm so glad to have set up this island in the middle of my living room in my apartment. What I did was I took two bookcases and put them back to back and it gave me eight shelves, four on each side, and I was able to find blocks of wood that I could put it up to countertop height with kick plates underneath, which makes working at it so much easier than having to slouch over and not be able to put your feet under it. And since we've done that, life has really taken off in the studio. Now, I didn't take and video the part where I used um, embossing glitter on the ballerinas. With the pink ballerina, I put gold on for her dress, her shoes, and her hat. And the blue ballerina, I put silver on. I'm putting together the cards right now. And I have sped this up quite a bit. And all of these little pieces are so static that it is, it gets stuck to your hands when you're taking off the back to get the sticky part happening. And I don't know where I put my tweezers, so I have to do it all kind of by hand. I've just gotten to the point where I take my gold ink pen or my silver ink pen and write on black paper instead of trying to find stamps. It's so much fun to be creative. The backgrounds can take up to an hour to do because there's so many different steps involved in the process of creating these backgrounds. And that's a whole other video I'll have to do another day. Now you can see that the blue and the pink have already had the embossing powder heated up and put on. And I've glued them all directly onto the card 
front and now I'm putting them onto the card. And that's finished. In the background I used a stamp that was a music, the top line of a bar of music, and I stamped it all directions on the background just to make it look like she's dancing in music. It turned out really fun. Lots of black splashes on the back. And I think I did some uh, copper splashes too on it. So I'm down to four. It's so much fun. The island has all the tools I need right within a step or two away from where I'm working. So that's how these ones turned out. And this is how the first ones turned out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you know every time I put up a new video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.